it says, this is a new setting. Thanks for the heart rate. And I just want to see, can everyone hear me well from the distance that I am at? I can hear you. Perfect. Great. Okay. So we're going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, just using this seat to help ground and center and root our bodies here today. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you. I am sitting in a half lotus. We are using this seated pose to go inward. As we ensure that our tummies are tight, our spinal cords are nice and elongated here, meaning they are not sunken. We have control of our bodies here. Our shoulders are melted downward away from our ears. As we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes, using the down gaze to help us go inward and soothe our bodies. As we take a deep breath in, hold the breath, exhale fully. Maybe taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing the thumbs to touch the sternum if that feels good for you. As we breathe in, Exhale. As we relax here in five breaths of silent meditation, simply using this time to go inward, focus on self. And maybe if it's okay, we can take a little bit of time to simply give our thoughts and our prayers to Ukraine. Sending well wishes and sending hope that this invasion will be over soon. So may we do five breaths of silence for ourselves as well as for Ukraine. Three more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our salute, fingertips are reaching up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Shoulder blades reaches up towards the ears. Our spinal cord comes nice and elongated here. With our hands interlaced and our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, we have our heart chakra open. Our chin is slightly up. As we allow our arms to slowly, to softly fall towards the back, feeling this slight Back bend here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, coming back to that salute as we bring our palms apart. We're gonna separate our palms here. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up as we are channeling in positivity, energies, inspiration, and hope. With our arms, reaching up towards the heavens with our fingertips reaching up towards the heavens. We are channeling in, we are channeling to anyone in our lives or anyone who we know we feel may need some hope and inspiration here today. May they receive our vibes. May they receive our energies. May they know that we are thinking of them and may they know that we care. We are not just focusing on ourselves here today in our yoga practice. We are focusing on others. Though self-care is a necessity, we're going to give a little bit of time and attention to others in the world. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Taking a moment to notice how it feels with our arms pointing up straight towards the heavens. We may feel that our arms are getting a little bit tired here. We are bearing weight. We are feeling the strength here. We are allowing our bodies to simply just gather strength. As we breathe our palms together, coming into that salute. As we exhale down to prayer, relaxing our shoulders, downward away from our ears, taking a moment to notice that when we bring our palms downward at heart center, we may feel that having our arms straight up in the air, we were actually working the upper parts of our bodies. We were carrying the weight of ourselves. We were carrying the weight of others who we care about happily because we have the strength, we have the power. 
we have our cups full so we can give to others because we take care of ourselves. We do self-care. Two more breaths, seated prayer. As we breathe our palms downward towards our sides, we're gonna connect our fingertips to the earth. We are channeling in and noticing what's going on within our environment. We are now focusing on self, giving ourselves our attention, self-love. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us. Being aware, simply noticing without judgments. And during our session here today, we may hear noises, we may become distracted. May we take notice of what is going on and what is happening without judgment, simply being aware. May we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us and our practice here today. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. As we flow our palms above our heads in our salute, palms are together. Exhale to our seated star. We're gonna bring our palms slightly off towards the sides here. Heart chakras opened, chin is slightly up. We are the star. Noticing how we feel as we twist our bodies slightly towards the right. We're working on our seated twist here. We're gonna lower our fingertips downward towards the earth as we slightly gaze over our right shoulder, feeling our spinal twist here. Maybe we can hang out here in this twist of three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, coming back into that star, feeling that stretch, breathe in. Twisting our bodies towards the left. Exhale, palms downward towards the earth. As we gaze over that left shoulder, feel the next spinal twist opposite side as we relax and soothe our spine here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back the center, coming to the star. We are in our seated star with our heart open. Prayers going out to Ukraine. Chin slightly up, eyes are gaze downward. Three breaths, silent meditation. Breathe in. Exhale to our salute, palms above our heads, fingertips reaching up towards the heavens as we flow down to our prayer. Relax in the body as we flow our feet together in a bound position, coming into a, either a diamond with our feet further away from us or a butterfly with our feet closer towards our bodies. We are working on opening up our hips here. We are working on our hip flexors. Simply being aware and noticing how we feel at this moment, ensuring that our backs are nice and long here. Maybe we can work on a couple of seated cat cows, connecting our hands to our feet, Allowing our chin to come slightly up, heart chakras open as our head slightly flows towards the back, flowing between our shoulder blades. We are in our cow pose. Two breaths. Exhale to cat, chin comes towards the clavicle, spinal cord goes towards the back of the room. Taking a moment to notice how this seated cat cow feels. Two more breaths. As we breathe to cow, exhale to cat. Flowing back to our center, we are back in our diamond or our butterfly. As we straighten our legs in front of us, coming into a staff pose, our legs are parallel side by side. As we point our toes downward towards the earth. Yes, noticing how when we point our toes downward towards the earth, you may feel it in the back of your legs and mainly maybe in your calves behind your legs. Pointing those legs downward in the calves, you'll feel it there. We are working on, this is a nice pose for flat foot. Well, just working on just stretching our bodies and we're working on stretching our calves right here behind our legs. You know, when we get those Charlie horses at, at nighttime, I'm having low potassium. Three breaths, going to flexing our feet downward here. 
As we exhale our feet up, we're going to be in a Dorsey, plo- Dorsey pose, pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens. Notice how this feels here in our Dorsey flex. As we flow our toes back downward towards our plantar flex, our toes point downward towards the earth, ensuring that our spinal cords, our backs are not sunken. We want to have control of our bodies if we're able. Shoulders are nice and tall, two breaths. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into a seated forward fold, we're going to slightly hinge our bodies. Tummy's nice and tight. Noticing how this feels. You may feel it now in your entire hamstrings behind your legs. And if all feels well, maybe we can go down to a complete forward fold, reaching our hands downward towards the bottoms of our feet, feeling this full body stretch. As we gaze our eyes downward, or close our eyes if that feels comfortable as we get lost in this pose here. And I want our head and our torso to relax downward towards our thigh. Four breaths. Ensuring that our toes are still pointed downward. We are in our plantar flex. Toes pointing towards the earth. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into our half forward fold, slightly lifting up that torso. Chin slightly up, half forward. As we flow back to our staff pose, bodies are nice and long here. Maybe we can connect our hands to the earth or place our hands on our laps. Tummies tight, spinal cords long, shoulders melted down and away from the ears as we are face forward. We can close our eyes, we can gaze our eyes down. We're gonna take this moment in our staff pose to go inward. Three breaths. Allowing the body to relax here. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a salute, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens. As we dorsiflex our toes upwards towards the heavens. So we have our toes pointed upwards. We have our hands in our salute. Or we can separate our palms if that feels good for you. We're going to hang out here. Two breaths. Chin slightly up. Breathing our palms together in our salute. As we exhale to our prayer. Relax in the body as we flow that right leg up, knees in the air, foot, right foot's flat on the earth. So we have our right knee in the air, our right foot is flat on the earth. We're going to work on our sage for here. We're going to work on stretching the body. We're going to take that right arm, lift it up in the air, lean the body towards the left, lean forward as we slightly lower that arm downward just a little. As we wrap that right arm around that right knee, we are now in our stage where we keep one here. Our torso's up and our chin is slightly up here. And we can hang out here. We can bend that left leg, that left leg in this chest here. And our stage where we keep, we can keep it straight. We can also, if you want to feel the stretch a little more, we can take this left hand, wrap it around our back, connecting the left hand to the right hand. And then we are going a little deeper here in this Sage Marichi. With our heart chakra open and our chin up, we are in Sage Marichi one. Two breaths. As we slightly hinge at the hips, staying in the Sage Marichi, we're gonna hinge at the hips just so slightly as we gaze our eyes down or lower our head just slightly. We are basically gazing down at our knees and our thighs. We are now in our stage where we keep two. We went from being upwards to slightly gaze down. Taking a moment to notice how this feels. Two breaths. As we slowly uninterlace those fingers, if they were laced, we're going to unwrap that right leg and we're going to straighten our leg back out into that staff pose. As we breathe to our salute, feeling that stretch, Exhale a prayer as we flow to our half forward fold. 
breaking down to our complete storage holes, reaching out to the stem with tools and feet for our ankles, gazing the eyes down, point to flexing the toes towards the earth. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to half. As we flow back to our staff pose, we're going to switch sides, taking that left leg up in the air, knees in the air, right foot is flat on the earth. We're going to work on that Sage Marici opposite side here. We're going to take that left arm, lift it up in the air, lean the body towards the right, lean forward. We're going to take this left hand and wrap it around our left knee. We're going to take our right hand, if we choose, and wrap our right hand around our back, interlacing our right hands and our left fingertips, shall I say. And keeping in mind that we can bend that right knee inward, and we are still in our Sage Marici. We can keep that leg straight, whatever feels good to you your body. With our heart chakra open and our chin up, we are in our Sage Marici one. Two more breaths. As we slightly hinge at the hips, we're gonna allow our torso to come closer towards our thighs, allowing our head to relax downward towards our knee, just a little slightly. And now we are in our Sage Marici two. Taking a moment to notice how each feels in the body. As we hang out here in our Sage Marici two for two more breaths. As we slightly, slowly uninterlace those fingers, if they were laced, we are going to unwrap that leg, finding our bodies back in our staff pose. As we breathe our bodies up to our salute, feeling that stretch, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, shoulders flows up towards the ears, our spinal cord is nice and elongated here. Our tummies are nice and tight, interlacing our hands together with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is slightly up. As we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back, feeling this slight back bend here. We are also using this pose to lengthen our bodies, to lengthen our spinal cord. Two more breaths. Exhale into center as we flow down to our prayer. Relaxing the body, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. We want to ensure that we are relaxing and soothing the upper parts of our bodies here. So maybe we can take our right hand, place our right hand flat on the earth and slightly lean our bodies towards the side. Just noticing how that feels. Taking our left arm, reaching it up in the air and reaching that left arm slightly over the head. As we slightly gaze up at the heavens, we are working on our side bend here in our staff. Two breaths. Tummy tight. Exhale into center. Both palms are on the earth beside our bodies. As we allow our bodies to slightly lean towards the opposite side to the left for me. Taking the right arm, reaching that right arm over the head. Feeling that side bend. Slightly gazing up at the heaven. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, flowing both palms onto the earth. We're gonna bring our legs inward, crossing our feet at our ankles, coming into a tabletop pose. Finding our bodies on our hands and our knees. Our knees are hip distance apart. <sighs> As we drop down to our thighs, noticing how this feels in our tummies, I'm sorry, in our lower back. Chin slightly up, maybe we can gaze our eyes down, allowing our heads to slightly flow between our shoulder blades. Exhale into cat. Flowing back to cow. Exhale to cat. Finding our bodies back at neutral, we are in our table pose. We're gonna take our right leg and bring it up towards the back. Feeling that stretch, working on our sunbird pose here. Noticing how this feels in the body. 
tummies are tight. As we breathe our left arm forward, we are working on balancing and strengthening the body here. We're gonna hang out here for three more breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Feeling that stretch. Exhale, knee to elbow. Feeling that tummy crunch. Back to birds. Knee to elbow. Back to birds. Knee to elbow. Back to birds. Two breaths. Tummy's tight as we pulse that right leg up behind our body. Yes, goodness. Pulsing that leg up. Feel that pulse. Yes. We are working on our gluteus maximus here. Lifting and rounding the butt out. Two more breaths. Finding our pause. Coming back to table. Dropping down to our cow. Exhale the cat. Flowing back to our table. As we sunburn opposite side. We're gonna bring that left leg towards the back. Feeling that stretch. We have both of our palms flat on the earth. Gathering our balance before we bring that right arm forward. Tummy's nice and tight, finding our bodies in our complete sunburn here. We are balancing and strengthening the body. We're gonna hang out here and hold this pose. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe in deeply, exhale, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird, hanging out here, building strength as we pulse that left leg up. Yes, we are working on lifting and rounding our gluteus maximus on the opposite side. Two more pulses. <sighs> Finding our pause, coming back to table, dropping down to our toe. Add to the cat. Flow back to our table. As we hang down here, just for a second, both of our palms are flat on the earth, knees are hip distance apart. As we breathe, our right arm up in the air, fingertips reaches up to the heaven, still in that stretch. Maybe we can yank up at our right fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale. Thread the needle. Right arm threads through the left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. As we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes, this thread the needle is a relaxing and soothing pose allowing us to go inward and find our focus. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, exhale, allowing the shoulder blades, the torso to melt forward and to the earth. And if we choose, we can take that left arm and wrap it around our backs if that feels good for us. Or we can take that left arm and extend it over our heads, palms flat on the earth. Whatever feels good for you. We're gonna hang out here, five breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, if it was wrapped, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table, dropping our bodies down to our cow. Exhale to cat. 
flowing back to table. As we take that left arm, reach it up towards the heavens, feeling that nice extension here. Gazing up at our left fingers, if that feels good for us. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle. Left arm flows through the right arm. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. As we gaze our eyes down and close our eyes, taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. As our shoulder blades melt forward into the earth, into the earth. Maybe we can take our right arm and wrap it around our backs if that feels good. Or extend that right arm above the head, palms flat on the earth, whatever you choose. We are going to go inward here and relax for five breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale into cat. Flowing back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet, tummies nice and tight. We are building strength in the upper parts of our bodies here in our down dog. Maybe we can push our torsos closer towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, moving our legs left and right here. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, shifting our weight forward, coming into that high plank. Two breaths. Exhaling down to a low plank or a chaturanga, hovering over our yoga mat. Two breaths. Exhale down to our tummies. We're going to come on our forearms. We are in our Sphinx pose. So we are on our tummies. We are on our forearms. Shoulders are not sunken. We have our shoulders away from the ears. We always want to have control of our torso here. As we are gaze forward, maybe our eyes are closed or gaze downward at the earth. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, exhale. This Sphinx pose here is a relaxing pose, soothing pose, and it is also a slight back bend. Noticing how you feel it here in your lumbar, your lower spine. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms closer towards our torso, coming into a baby cobra, our palms are next to our chest. Yes, and we're gonna use our palms to push our torso slightly away from the earth. Our elbows are bent. We are in a baby cobra. Relax and those shoulders downward away from the ears as we are gaze forward. Two breaths. As we push our bodies up to our cobra, straightening out those arms, our torsos are further away from the earth. This is a deeper back bend. We are in our cobra. Elbows are straight. Noticing in our baby cobra, our elbows are slightly bent. Torso is closer to the earth. Baby cobra. And our cobra, torsos further from the earth, elbows are straighter. Two more breaths as we gaze up at the heavens. Exhale into an up dog, coming on our tippy toes, pushing our torsos, push, pushing our thighs off the earth here. Now we're in our up dog. So when our up dog, our thighs are off the earth, our torsos are higher, chin is up. As we flow back down to a cobra, coming on our thighs, torso comes a little closer towards the earth. We are in our cobra. Feet are flat on the earth. The backs of the feet are flat on the earth here. 
taking a notice, taking a moment to notice how the cobra defeats our fled on the earth. In our up dog, we kind of use our toes to push our thighs off the earth. And our chin comes up higher, torso comes higher. Two more breaths. Exhale, down dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, we are building strength here in our arms. Two more breaths, walking our dog. Finding our paws, coming on down to our forearms, coming into our dolphin pose. We are giving our arms a little rest here. We are in our dolphin. We are on our forearms. And we're gonna notice how our buttocks is higher in the air. As we walk our feet closer towards our torso and our buttocks comes even higher in the air as we are gazed back to the back of the room. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. As we're gonna hang out here in our cobra for four breaths, just keeping in mind that this cobra pose prepares the body for headstand. As we relax and soothe here, three more breaths. Two breaths. Hanging out here in this dolphin pose. Maybe we can pulse up on our tippy toes. Using our tippy toes to lift our buttocks higher in the air. We are simply doing tippy toe pulses here in our dolphin pose. This is preparing our body for our headstand. You'll notice that you'll feel it in your forearms when you're pulsing up on your tippy toes. Two more breaths. As we exhale out, coming on to our knees, coming into a wide legged child's pose or puppy pose. Using this pose to relax and soothe. Our torso, our front chakra comes close to the earth. As we bring our third eye chakra, our forehead, downward towards the earth. So we are in our child's pose and our puppy pose. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Noticing how that breath fills, noticing how that breath relaxes and soothes as we go inward in our child's pose or our puppy pose for six natural breaths. Three more breaths. <laughs> As we extend our arms in front of us, if they were not already, now we are in our extended child's pose or puppy pose with our palms flat on the earth. We're gonna slightly gaze forward With our palms on the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose or puppy pose. Using our palms to push our torso forward, using our palms to push our buttocks towards the heels of our feet. As our tummies are nice and tight and we are still in this spinal wave throughout our spinal cord. And maybe we can allow our head to relax and flow into this spinal wave rotation. Simply giving our entire spinal cord a nice relaxation and simply feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Feeling the movements here. And we're gonna pause here in our spinal wave and we're gonna rotate our bodies at our hips. Our tummies are nice and tight here and we are rotating our bodies at our hips. Yes, we are working on a number of parts of our bodies. We are also working on soothing our hips, relaxing our hips. We are feeling relaxed, soothed, and maybe even a little sexy here, just 
having some fun here, rotating those hips, moving the torso. And if you choose, you can even move your head, circular rotation. Tummies are tight. We can move whatever part of the body that we choose, including our shoulders, our elbows, whatever you choose here. We are rotating the body at the hips here. Two more breaths. Finding our pause at center, bringing our knees together. They are hip distance apart. We are back in our table pose as we drop down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. Flowing back to our table. <sighs> Hanging out here for a second as we push our bodies up to our down dog. How doing our dog? We are walking. We are. <laughs> We are walking our dog, I'm sorry, pedaling our feet left and right. Finding our pause as we breathe, our right leg up in the air, coming into a three-legged dog. Gazing back at that foot. As we breathe that right knee to that right elbow, feeling that crunch, back to three-legged. Right knee to right elbow. Back to three-legged, right knee, right elbow, back to three-legged, two more breaths. Exhaling down, we are in our down dog, gazing at our feet, dropping down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose, puppy pose. We're going to hang out here for a couple breaths just to relax and soothe the arms. Let's make it three breaths. Breathe in, exhale, two more breaths. As we spinal wave our bodies out of this child's pose, puppy pose, coming back to our table, pushing our bodies back up to our down dog. As we breathe that left leg in the air, we are in our three-legged opposite sides, feeling that stretch, gazing at our foot. Mm. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to three-legged. Left knee, left elbow. Back to three-legged. Left knee, left elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog, flowing onto our forearms, coming into our dolphin. Walking our feet closer towards our torso, buttocks comes high in the air. Pulsing up on our tippy toes, three breaths. Finding our pause. Dropping down to our knees as we come into a puppy pose. We're going to bring our thighs closer together. Buttocks is high in the air. We're going to drop our torso downward towards the earth. As we extend our arms in front of us, palms flat on the earth. We're in our puppy pose. Maybe allowing, maybe allowing our third eye chakra, our forehead, to connect to the earth. Four breaths. Mm -hmm. Breathe in deeply, exhale. Two more breaths. <clears throat> As we slightly gaze forward, we're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of this puppy pose. Finding our bodies back in our table, drop into our cow, exhale to cat, flowing back to table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. As we walk our feet towards our hands, we are in our complete forward fold 
allowing our bodies to hover over our thighs here. Eyes are gazed down to close. This is a full body stretch, complete forward fold. Mm. Our head is relaxing downward towards our feet. Three more breaths. Maybe we can yogi walk our feet slightly apart just a little, giving our bodies a little stance here as we flow into a rag dial. Hugging our elbows with our hands, our heads are relaxed downward towards our feet. Rag dial holds uh, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slightly, if we choose, we can sway our bodies from side to side here in our ragdoll. Noticing how when we sway our bodies from side to side, you'll feel it more behind your legs and your hamstrings. Four more breaths, ragdoll sway if you choose. Finding our pause at center, we're gonna come back to a complete forward fold. Exhale to half. As we breathe up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, our palms are at our side. Parallel, our legs are parallel side by side. And maybe we can, we can pedal our feet from side to side, just working on the inner parts of our thighs here. As we find our pause, we are back in our working mountain, our Tadasana. As we breathe our palms up towards the heavens, coming into a standing salute. Fingertips up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up. And if we choose, if we want to work on our balance a little more, we can slightly come up on our tippy toes. Noticing how our bodies are nice and tall here. Lowering back down on our feet. We're going to bring our palms slightly apart, coming into an extended mountain. We are standing tall in our extended mountain. Our extended mountain looks like our salute, but when our salute, our palms are together. Extended mountain, palms are separated. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. As we allow our bodies to lean towards the right, we are in our standing crescent moon, filling this side bend here. As we slightly gaze up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra, two breaths. Exhaling back to center, standing crescent moon, opposite side, allowing that body to lean towards the left. Gazing up at the heavens, Two breaths. Exhale back to center. We are in our extended mountain as we flow to our standing salute. Breathing down to our prayer. Allowing our palms to relax at heart center. We are standing tall. Our feet are connected to the earth. Our shoulders are melted downward away from our ears, allowing the upper parts of our bodies to completely relax here. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale. As our feet are rooted into the earth, we are planted. We are standing tall. We are standing firm. For we are firm. We know what we want. We know what we need. And we are firm in our knowing. Our head is connected to the universe. We have ideas. We have thoughts. We are the star. We are the visionaries. We are the one. 
as we stand here in our standing prayer. Feet rooted, head to the universe, palms at heart center. May we go inwards, focusing on self, using this time to self-reflect, seeing what we need, knowing what we need, and believing what we need, and staying tr true to our word. Five natural breaths of silence. Three more breaths. Keeping our palms at heart center if we choose, maybe slightly hinge at the hips, coming into a prayer hand, half forward fold. Noticing how this feels behind the legs and the hamstrings. Chin is slightly up here. Three breaths. As we slightly bend our knees, we are in our chair pose, palms are at heart center. We are working on the lower parts of our bodies here. And if we choose, we can extend our palms in front of our bodies. We are in our chair pose, building strength, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms inward, Twisting our bodies towards the right. Chair pose, twist, three breaths. Exhale into center. Chair pose, twist, opposite side. Exhale, center, two breaths. Mm. Exhale, complete forward fold. Relax in the body. Breathe in. Exhale. Allow that head to completely flow downward towards the feet. Noticing that this complete forward fold is a counter stretch, is a counter pose to what we just did. Four breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Exhale to half forward. Breathing up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. As we bring our feet slightly apart, we are in our standing Tadasana, but we are wide legged. Two breaths. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up. Flowing to our salute, palms above the head. Exhale to prayer. As we slightly bend our knees, we're coming into a squat, but not a yogi squat. We're just coming into a regular squat like we do at the gym. We are squatting our body here. We are building strength in the lower parts of our legs. Now we can always flow from a squat to a god or goddess pose. Whatever feels best for you, Squat or God or Goddess pose. Your choice. Four breaths. I'm gonna hang out here in the Goddess. Flow into a Goddess salute. Exhale to Goddess prayer. As I come back to that uh, squat pose. Two more breaths. Build the strength. Lower parts of the body. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Relaxing the head downward, gazing through our legs. Complete forward fold. Maybe allowing our right hand to connect to the right ankle. Left hand connect to the left ankle as we gaze to the back of the room. Wide-legged forward fold. Four breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Three more breaths. Two breaths. And 
as we slightly sway our bodies from side to side. Slightly swaying the body from side to side here. Now forward fold. Noticing how that when we sway the body from side to side, we can feel it in our hamstrings. Two more breaths. Finding our pause at center, we're gonna walk our hands forward, bringing our legs together, finding our bodies in our down dog. Tummies nice and tight as we are gazing back at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs. Feeling that nice deep stretch. Walking our dog, our pedal on our feet, left and right, tummies tight here. Flow into our high plank, shifting that body forward. High plank, two breaths. As we exhale down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over that mat, two more breaths. Exhale down to our sphinx, we are on our tummies. Flow into our forearms, shoulders are away from the ears. Spinal cords nice and long here. Eyes are gaze down to close as we breathe in. Exhale. This Sphinx pose is a relaxing pose. As we relax and shoot here, four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in, exhale. Flow into our baby cobra. Hands are next to our chest, elbows are bent, torsos away from the earth, baby cobra. Two breaths. Exhale into cobra, straightening out those elbows, chin slightly up. Breathing to our up dog. Exhale into our table, coming onto our hands and our knees. We are in our table pose. Knees are hip distance apart as we drop down to our cow. Exhale, a cat. Flowing back to table, crossing our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated pose. We're gonna be in a seated position just for a second as we flow onto our backs. Yes, we're gonna come onto our backs. <sighs> Finding ourselves with our knees, our chest, hugging our knees into our chest, allowing the body to relax. Knees to chest. Noticing how this feels as our torso are melted into the earth. As we are gazed up at the heaven. Breathe in. Exhale. This knees to chest pose is a relaxing and soothing pose. As we bring our knees forward towards our foot, this allows us to relax and soothe, center, and regulate. Two more breaths. As we exhale our legs up in the air, legs all closed or invisible wall, in many of our cases, legs are up in the air, legs in the wall pose. Pull yourself melted into the earth as we breathe in. Exhale. Reaching our hands down with the lower parts of our legs, bringing our legs towards our torso. This is a full body stretch. Maybe our will butt out some spur for your shoulder. Feeling this body stretch here. We will gaze forward. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale the legs up the wall as we breathe our knees into our chest. Feet is up in the air as we flow into our happy baby. Bringing our hands to clean our thighs. Feet are up in the air, bringing our hands outward. Connecting our hands to our feet. Happy baby. 
our torsos are completely melted into the earth. Our hands are connected to our feet. And maybe we are wiggling our toes up, if that feels good. Maybe we are playing in the sides of our feet, the heels of our feet, the balls of our feet, the center, toes, whatever feels good for you. We are just simply having some fun here in our happy day, showing our feet a little love. Three more breaths. Breath. And in our happy baby, we can even rock our bodies from side to side. This allows the earth to relax and soothe the spinal cord if we choose. Happy baby rocking the body. Or we can just simply hang still and freestyle, do whatever pose we choose to do in our head today. We're going to hang out here for two more breaths. Let's take it four. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pause. As we breathe our legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose. Reaching down, bringing our legs towards our torso. This is a full body stretch, legs to torso stretch. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Two breaths. Exhale, legs up in the air, legs on the wall. As we allow that left leg to come down towards the earth. Right leg is still up in the air. As we do a hand to toe extension, reaching that hand to that toe, feeling that stretch, we also can grab a strap and wrap that strap around the leg if that feels good. Or you can just take your hand and bring your hand to the lower parts of your leg and bring your legs towards your body. Whatever feels good to you, whatever you're able to do in your body, we're simply just working on stretching and soothing the body. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling knees to chest, bringing both knees into chest, feeling that hug. Legs up on the legs up on the wall pole, straightening out those legs. As the right leg falls downward towards the side, left legs up in the air, nice and high, feel the next stretch. As we bring that left leg, we can do a hand to toe extension if we choose. Hand to toe. We can use that strap around our foot. We can just use our hand to bring our leg forward. Whatever you choose, we're going to feel this hand to toe extension stretch here. Bodies relaxed. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale the knees to chest, hugging the knees into the chest, relaxing the body. As we breathe our knees towards the left, recline spinal twist, allowing the knees to fall to the left. We can even straighten out that leg towards the left, feeling that body stretch, feeling that spinal twist. As we breathe that right arm out towards the side, gazing over that right arm or gazing up at the heavens. Recline, recline spinal twist, four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Flowing back to center, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging those knees into the chest, relaxing the body. As we exhale our knees towards the right, recline spinal twist opposite, opposite side. Knees fall to the right, or we can extend that leg out towards the right. Whatever feels good for you, we are in our recline spinal twist, your choice. With our left arm out towards the side, as we gaze over that left arm or gaze up at the heavens, bodies relaxing and soothing here. Spinal cord is decompressing. 
four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Low and back to center, huggy knees into chest. <sighs> Exhaling legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Breathing our legs towards our torso, feeling that full body stretch. Exhale, legs back up on the wall. Breathing knees to chest. Allowing our legs to flow side by side in our Shavasana here. Legs are parallel, side by side. Our feet are connecting. They are touching on the sides. As we allow our feet to completely fall to the side like a baby. This allows our legs to completely relax. As we are gazed up at the heavens with our eyes closed or gazed down. Placing our arms and our palms at any part of our bodies that feels good for us. As we are relaxing in our Shavasana of choice. As we are going inward, focusing, meditating, speaking into existence, whatever we feel as though we need today, we are going to hang out here meditating, going inward. We know what we need. We know what we want. May we go inward. Eight natural breaths. Six more breaths. Four more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes and rotate our ankles, may we keep our eyes closed against them. As we turn our bodies onto our sides, coming into a fetal position, allowing our bodies to relax and soothe here. Fetal pose, bringing those knees towards the chest, gaze in the eyes down, breathe on. Exhale. Bodies relax. Mind is soothing. Heart rate is regularly. Four more breaths. Two breaths. As we softly wiggle our toes and rotate our ankles, moving our bodies at our hips, at our buttocks. As we take our hand that's on the top, using that hand to push our muscles away from the earth, coming into a seated pose. Any seated pose of, cho of choice, I am going to come into a cow face. And you find any seat that feels good for you in my cow face. I am connecting my hands to my feet and I'm going to further massage my feet as we ensure that our tummies are tight. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated here. Our shoulders are melted and relaxed downward away from the ears. 
with our eyes gazed down, ensuring that our chin is relaxed, our facial muscles are relaxed, our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Allowing our palms to relax at heart center, coming into seated prayer. Breathe in. Hold the breath. Exhale fully. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing that we find time for self. And I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. And I would like to thank you for allowing me to just add in our thoughts and prayers and well wishes to Ukraine. I appreciate it. And I'm thankful that we were able to send out positive energies to another from our session here today. For energies really do travel. And we did our part today. And I thank you for being a part of this session. I am grateful and I am thankful. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you and the whole world. Namaste. Amen to everyone. Peace and blessings. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the heart, I appreciate it. Namaste, have a great evening, and I'll see you next week, thank you. Take care.